Hello my sax playing friend, Alexander here from Saxophone Masterclass. Today I want to take you through where you should be placing your hands and your fingers, especially as a beginner sax player. Now even if you've been playing for a few weeks or a few months, there may be some stuff in this video that will really help you with where you should be placing your fingers. Now if you are a beginner saxophone player and you just started, or maybe you haven't been playing for a few years and you need a refresher, I have something that you're going to love. It's called the Saxophone from Scratch Challenge, and this is a totally free course I've created that helps you get set up with the saxophone, helps you with putting your reed and mouthpiece together, where to place your mouth, helps you with learning your first notes, how to learn your first songs, and it's all completely free. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash challenge and you can get access to that right away. So first things first, when you're picking up your saxophone, you want to actually grab it from the bell like this. Okay, so you don't want to actually be grabbing the keys when you pick up the sax, because that can actually damage the keys, and you can actually end up bending the keys by accident, and that's going to make it almost impossible to play the saxophone, and you have to get it repaired. So always grab the sax by the bell whenever you're taking it out of the case, or whenever you're picking it up from your sax stand. Just keep holding the saxophone by the bell, and then make sure you clip on this neck strap hook around the loop of the saxophone right here, in the middle of the saxophone. And you wanna have a neck strap that closes like this. You wanna make sure that the neck strap closes over because I've seen a lot that have a hook that doesn't close. And then sometimes without you knowing, it'll just fall out of the loop and therefore you lose control of the saxophone, you end up dropping it, and you don't want that. And if you're looking for a neck strap like this one, check out my Ultimate Saxophone Buyer's Guide. You can get it for free at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash guide. And I also have a link to the neck strap below this video as well. So once you've clipped your neck strap hook onto the loop of the saxophone, you wanna actually adjust the neck strap so that it comes up right to your mouth, okay? So you wanna adjust this area so that when the saxophone leans against your body, you wanna make sure the reed touches your bottom lip like this while it's resting against your body. So that is where you wanna be placing your neck strap and that's super important before you even start putting your fingers and hands around the saxophone. So once you have those two things in place, you've hooked the neck strap onto your saxophone, you've got the reed and mouthpiece coming up to your mouth like this, now you wanna place your thumbs in the right area. So I'm gonna show you where to put your right thumb first. So you wanna find this thumb rest here, right near the bottom of the saxophone. And that's where you're gonna place your right thumb underneath like that. And so you can wrap your hand around and start putting your fingers over these keys here. Okay, these are the bottom three keys. And you just wanna rest them on top without pressing these side keys. So you want to really make sure you're creating sort of a claw with your right hand and you're able to put your hand around there and the tips of your fingers are going on there. You don't want to put your fingers too far over. You don't want to keep your fingers straight. You want to curve your hand like a claw, put those fingers there and put your right thumb underneath that thumb rest. Okay, so you have your index finger on the top pearl here. Then you have your middle finger on this middle key here, and then the bottom key, you're gonna have your ring finger on your right hand. Make sure you're not pressing down any of these keys, make sure you're not pressing down any of these keys, and just try to rest your hand in that position. This pinky down here is just gonna be kind of wandering around here, that's for these keys down here, so you don't wanna be pressing those right now, just rest your hand in that area. So that's where you place your right thumb and your right hand fingers on the saxophone. Now I'm gonna show you where to place your left thumb and your left hand fingers. So we're moving on to our left hand now and we're gonna place our left thumb right here on this thumb rest, okay? So this is metal in my case, but sometimes it's black and plastic and I'm gonna rest my thumb here and just cover this what's called an octave key very, very slightly without pressing it down. Okay, and this makes it easy to transition between the high octave and the low octave. So you just wanna rest your thumb there, barely touching the octave key, so you can move it up and down like this very quickly. A lot of people do this, you don't wanna do that, and you don't wanna have it all the way down here so you're nowhere near the octave key, you wanna have it resting right over like this, so it's just a slight movement, compress that octave key. Again, you wanna make that claw kind of look with your hand, so that you can reach these keys here. 
and you want to make sure you're not pressing any of these side keys okay these are the high keys on the saxophone you don't want to press any of those you want to make sure you've made enough of a claw enough of a semicircle to go around those keys and then you're resting them here on these keys at the top of the saxophone so we're going to go from the bottom up so we're going to go from this key using our left index finger and that's that bottom pearl there then we're going to go and put our middle finger the second key above that and we're going to skip this little guy this is not a key that you press separately right so you don't want to be doing this that's not the right fingerings you want to make sure you're skipping that one and putting your index finger at that top pearl now you may see another pearl key up here and you don't want to press that either okay i have a different type of key but a lot of saxophones have another pearl that is not the key you want to press you want to make sure that this is the last key you press with your index finger and then again your pinky finger is going to be kind of wandering around here just rest it on these spatula keys down here and so that's where you want to be resting your fingers and placing your hands on the saxophone as a beginner and you want to keep an eye on this by looking in the mirror as you're playing and as you're practicing the saxophone it's really common as a beginner to start pressing these keys near where your palm is here and over here as well on the saxophone so you want to watch that that's going to be the most common thing that you're going to end up doing when you're learning the saxophone for the first time and if you are a total beginner or you are trying to refresh your mind about where to place your hand where to place your fingers how to blow the saxophone how to breathe properly check out my saxophone from scratch challenge it's totally free there's all sorts of information in there and by the end of it you're actually going to be able to play four different songs on the saxophone so go ahead and go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash challenge and you can sign up today for absolutely free so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, I put videos out every single week on this YouTube channel. So subscribe for more. Click that notification bell so you can know every time I upload a new video. And please comment below if you found it helpful. And if you've just started on the saxophone, I'd love to know. Let me know how long you've been playing. Let me know why you took up the saxophone. I have so many more step-by-step -step tutorials on this channel as well. So please go and check those out. And until next time, happy playing.